The crypto gaming bear market was really boring. There wasn't a lot to do but play video games. One of the few times in the entire crypto space that I had actually had enough time to play some video games. And one of those video games that I played was my pet hooligan. What seems to be one of the greatest launches in the crypto gaming space over the past couple of months. I'm going to be honest, it's been really boring lately, but I don't know if it was the whole AI niche or the decentralized exchange listings or what. But uh, Mr. Uh, My Pet Hooligan with their little carrot coin has been absolutely cooking. So we're going to be talking about it and more in this video. If you know the content, like and subscribe and let's get into it. So immediately want to make it clear. They put a strategic partners list out and I am one of those strategic partners. No, I am not sponsored. They actually just reached out to me and they were like, hey, you've supported us in the past and uh, and we want to go ahead and support you. I actually covered this during the bear market. We also did Web 2 versus Web 3, which, by the way, I kick some ass. If you actually watch that, I do 20 frags every game, absolutely dominating these little Web 2 esports teams. You got you to flex the League of Legends Challenger every now and then, and that's one of those unique opportunities that I get to actually play the game. So let's go over more backing here. We got Mark Cuban. We've got Delphi Digital, right? We've got Polygon Studios, some big, big names here. Why this is important is not only because of the fact that they've invested money into these projects, but it's because they have a network and your network is your wealth in this world. And it has resulted in Carrot, because they've done the right moves here, being listed on some of the biggest centralized exchanges on the planet, especially the fact that in the US, it is really hard to get into some of these. The one namely that I wanna talk about is Coinbase. You getting on Coinbase is, I don't even know, like what was the, when was the last time that a crypto project in the gaming space got listed on Coinbase? It is a very rare phenomenon, unless you, I guess you're on the Ronin network, right? But very rare to actually get there. They also have KuCoin, MEXC, Crypto.com is another big hitter there. So some big centralized exchange listings here for Carrot Coin. Now let's explain the product and everything in between. So my pet hooligan, it's on Epic Games. It is free to play right now. They got some money making stuff with microtransactions. You can get founders passes. You can get skins, which hopefully we get a skin of me in the game sometime soon. We also have Prime Gaming collaborations because if you saw it over here on the strategic partner side, Prime Gaming is right there, which I think is pretty cool. There's a couple others I know that are on Prime Gaming, but they're one of the main ones that are getting a ton of hype right now. So there are three different game modes on my pet hooligan, Coinpocalypse, Anarchy, and Hangout. Hangout, it's like the cash one. If you're just vibing out, you go to Hangout. Anarchy, just try to get as many kills as possible. And then Coinpocalypse, you go around collecting coins. You win if you have the most coins. Usually trying to kill people in this game mode is a waste of time, and you're just supposed to try to get as many coins as possible. It's actually really fun when you actually get into the esports side of it, but Hey, we're in a bull market. You don't want to hear about the gaming things. You just want to hear about the coin. And I think that's fair enough. So right now it's at 89 cents at a $78 million market cap and a whopping $900 million in fully diluted market cap. Actually, which this is, this will be a surprising statistic here. It's actually higher than most of the tokens coming out in terms of a circulating supply. I know 8% doesn't sound like a lot to you, but I've seen some as low as 1%. So that is definitely something positive. Uh, other things that we should note, the IEO price, this was on Gate.io's startup, was 75 cents. So people investing into Carrot, this is very rare in the space, especially recently, uh, they're actually up money. This is something that usually does not happen. Now, other things that you should probably know is that when it comes to something like Carrot Coin, they do have vesting. And vesting is a huge thing that we're gonna be talking about later in this video, so do stick around for that. But let's talk about the studio here for AMGI. They're an independent gaming and animation technology company that lives at the intersection of gaming, technology, and storytelling. I wanna stop right there because this is, this is really big right here, this part here. They have been building, this was in 2022, I remember reading this media that talked about AMGI Studios and how they were working on AR slash VR technology. That's augmented reality and virtual reality technology. This is important because there are so many people in the space that go, oh, I'm building an AI product. But in all reality, they're just using ChatGPT or Sorrow and you're not really doing anything else with the tech. You're just using the buzzword to try to get a pump out of their cryptocurrency. 
but they've actually been building this technology for real for over a year now. This is legitimate. They have been working on this, and it's not just they randomly came and stumbled upon it, and we're trying to use this to take advantage of people. They have actually been building out this technology, which is a good thing in the crypto space. So now let's keep reading here. They live at the intersection of gaming, technology, and storytelling. They develop and produce traditional entertainment IP, gaming, and through the use of our proprietary technology, AI integration, and innovations in real-time animation. Very simple vision to empower dreamers and doers to make groundbreaking stuff, and that's cool. You look at their actual website, you'll see some of their partners. They've, uh, you know, obviously, you know, Unreal Engine, they're building on Unreal Engine. They got Bitcraft, Arca, et cetera, et cetera. YGG, one of those investors early on. Now, coin. Why Carrot Coin? Well, Carrot Coin is used for what you usually get in crypto coins. Governance. Governance is the big, big use case for Carrot Coin, as seen right here. This is actually distributed to people that hold their hoolies, which are their My Pet Hooligan NFTs, which is how this whole project came to be in the first place back in December 2021. Uh, the floor price, I remember it got as high as, what was it, 1.1 Ethereum before they had the Carrot Coin airdrop. The people that got this airdrop, um, they, they ate. Yeah, they, they were eaten, eaten up. So the Hoolies are very happy. Now, of course, it's had that correction since then. 0.4 ETH. I have no idea how it's still at 0.4 ETH. But, you know, Ethereum tokens, they're just not doing the best right now. So that might be an explanation for it. I just have no idea why this is still at the price point that it is. Anyway, they ate it up. They are a huge loyal community. People are going to be using their hoolies in AR, VR environments. They're going to have AIs talking for them. And I think that is absolutely sick. We actually have a video here. This is from AMGI Studios themselves. Just very quickly, dude goes ahead, shows himself. He moves around. AI does interactions based on that. I think it's awesome. They have Unreal plus facial pattern perception, which... Is pretty dope, pretty dope, myself over here. And so it's just actual proof that they're building something. <laughs> like, sometimes you need to see it for yourself to believe it. And, and this is exactly that. So if you didn't believe it now, guys moving around, just doing stuff, then you believe it. Which I've actually seen them in their studios with the, with the big old green screens, some dude in a track suit walking around, being detected. So they've been building this out for a really long time, and it's it's great to see it actually come into fruition. Now, Carrot Coin, they have a game, My Pet Hooligan. Awesome for you. But is that worth $1 billion in fully diluted valuations? I don't know. That's debatable. Axie Infinity hit like a 40 bill FTV. It could be enough. But there's a new emerging meta in the crypto gaming space where everyone is trying to make their own chain. There are very few that can do it the right way. My Pet Hooligan is one of those games in the Carrot ecosystem. And so here it is. The Carrot Protocol is a decentralized gaming infrastructure layer supported by Carrot and empowered by a truly decentralized community with a shared version vision embracing gaming, entertainment, and AI products catering for the new era. A lot of stuff that they're trying to do here. The distribution of carrot governance tokens decentralizes governance of the carrot protocol, which, you know, why, you know, you know why they're saying that. Anyway, governance, it's awesome. People do proposals on plenty of things. We all know about governance. That's green and all. They have tons of token play here with the carrot protocol that's made up of a tool set that allows the importation of digital collectibles and their metadata into a gaming engine and allows for the assembly of such assets too, where they are 3D gaming assets. So a little bit complicated, but pretty much means that uh, if you want to use it, you got to do it through carrot, which we love that. <laughs> the more use cases for a token, you'd be surprised. Some of these tokens just don't have any use cases. Well, people, we got to make up some kind of use case for our tokens. Anyway, that's one of them, right? So Carrot has clear utility here. They're probably going to have more games on there. They just have their case study, which right now is My Pet Hooligan, which has better graphics than 99.9% .9 of the games in the crypto gaming space, which has got to be celebrated on its own, not even talking about everything else in the traditional gaming space, right? And so here's the big kicker. We've talked about a bunch of positive stuff. 
I don't want to leave you with just positive stuff. I'm not trying to be a salesman. You know, we're not sponsored here. We're just chatting. And so here is one of the reasons I liked my pet hooligan and maybe one of the reasons that you won't like my pet hooligan. So my pet hooligan, they have vesting. This is a coin that has got VCs and VC coins are very good for you and very bad for you at the same time. They're very good for you because all of these people are going to be working for this token, but they're also very bad for you because at some point you are going to get a metric ton of sell pressure because more tokens are going to be introduced to the ecosystem. And that is never a good thing debatably right here's the here's the thing though my bad hooligan is one of the only crypto games check this for yourself that is launching that doesn't have their actual vc investors getting tokens for the first six months there's usually a 10 percent unlock at tge that's when the token is unlocked and that could be quite a bit of sell pressure that's a good reason as to why my pet hooligan's carrot coin is doing so well right now because there's not that absolutely monumental amount of sell pressure that you get in the beginning of a token launch. And even when this token launch happens, this is something really interesting that I implore you look into other tokens for. Their vesting is a lot longer than most of the other tokens in the crypto gaming space. They've got a four year linear unlock of this carrot coin for the actual development of this game. The team, they get that 10% unlock, but yeah, they've got to wait pretty much an entire year to be able to get that. They get a three-year unlock, and pretty much early contributors, they get a two-year linear unlock after six months. So pretty much everybody here, they've got at least until the bear market pretty much to be able to get their tokens. This is a great thing for you if you are trying to get into something early. They did have an unlock for their airdrop, which was given to people with they're hooligans. These My Pet Hooligans got rewarded for staking, which is awesome. We love to see projects reward their communities and not immediately dump on them. That's probably a good reason as to why they got into Coinbase and Crypto.com because they don't have that enormous sell pressure in the beginning of the cycle. They, this is a model I think makes a lot more sense. They have a lot more time to build up the product. Yes, My Pet Hooligan doesn't have 1 million DAU, but it is a game still in development that has time. We are in a bull market. It's time to launch your tokens, but it's not time to throw all the tokens into circulation because you don't have enough demand to buy up all of the sell pressure. So this is really good. In terms of negatives, once that six month clip goes ahead and runs its course, there are going to be tokens that end up coming out. And the inflation over the course of a year, if you look at the inflation from October 2024 all the way to October 2025, it goes all the way from 9.80% of the tokens unlocked all the way up to, where is it? 28.2%, which represents around a... 2.5 to 3x increase in the amount of tokens out there. If you're not a mathematician, it's okay. It just means that it's generally speaking, not a good thing. Around 1% more of the supply every month is going to be unlocked. Now, now here's the thing. When you're in a bull market, this doesn't matter for the most part. It's just not going to add up enough to the point where this is going to be meaningful for you. But in a bear market, this will be absolutely catastrophic for every crypto gaming project and every crypto project to ever exist. So be careful when the bear market comes. At the end of the day, if this game blows up during the bear market, I've had, you know, instances with Silk, et cetera, that have done incredibly well. And, you know, they've absolutely cooked and, you know, still do 10 X's during the bear market. It's just generally speaking, like bear market coins. Come on. Who holds coins in the bear market? I mean, I will be holding coins in the bear market, right? But yeah. That's my pet hooligan. That's carrot coin. That's the alpha for you. I think it's going to go higher. I think it's going to do well. I think that it's valuation right now. Even today, you have a good six months, guys. Six months. Till the next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay classy. And that's all.